Marcus, Mark, 10. And he arose from thence and came into the coasts of Yahud, by the farther side of the Ardan. And the people resort unto him again. And as he was wont, he taught them again. And the Padashim came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his woman? Tempting him. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moshe command you? And they said, Moshe suffered to write a sefer of divorcement and to put her away. And Yahusha answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning of the creation, Elohim made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his woman. And they too shall be one flesh. So then they are no more two, but one flesh. What eth therefore Yah has joined together, let no man put asunder. And in the house his Talmudim asked him again of the same matter. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his woman and marry another breaks wedlock against her. And if a woman shall put away her man and be married to another, she breaks wedlock. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his Talmudim rebuked those that they brought, uh, those that brought them. But when Yahusha saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the children, rather, suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of Yahweh. Amen, I say, rather, Amen, I say unto you. Whosoever shall not receive eth the kingdom of Yahweh as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running, and kneeled to him, and asked him, Good Rabbi, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Yahusha said unto him, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one, that is, Yahuwah. You know the commandments. Do not break wedlock. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor eth your father and eth your mother. And he answered and said unto him, Rabbi, all these have I observed from my youth. Then Yahusha, beholding him, loved him, said unto him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatsoever you have, and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven. And come, take up your staff, and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Yahusha looked round about, and said unto his Talmudim, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of Yahweh? And the Talmudim were astonished at his words. But Yahusha answered again, and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh? It is easier for a rope to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahuwah. And they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Yahusha, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with Yah. 
For with Yah, all things are possible. Then Kepha began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed you. And Yahusha answered and said, Amen, I say unto you, There is no man that has left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or woman, or children, or lands, hath for my sake, and the Basara's, but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last and the last first. And they were in the way, going up to Yerushalayim. And Yahusha went before them. And they were amazed. And as they followed, they were afraid. And he took again the twelve and began to tell them what things should happen unto him. Saying, Behold, we go up to Yerushalayim, and the son of Adam shall be delivered unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the other nations. And they shall mock him, and shall scourge him, and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him. And the third day he shall rise again. And Yaakov and Yahuchanan, the sons of Zabdi, come unto him, saying, Rabbi, we would that you should do for us whatsoever we shall desire. He said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant us, rather, grant unto us that we may sit, one on your right hand and the other on your left, in your glory. But Yahusha said unto them, Ye know not what eth ye, ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of and be immersed with the immersion that I am immersed with? And they said unto him, We can. And Yahusha said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the immersion that I am immersed with all shall ye be immersed. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with Yaakov and Yahu Hanan. But Yahusha called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the other nations exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the son of Adam came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Yericho, and as he went out of Yericho with his Talmudim and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Yahusha, the Netzari, he began to cry out and say, Yahusha, 
son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Yahusha stood, stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. And he, and he casting away his garment, rose and came to Yahusha. And Yahusha answered and said unto him, What will you that I should do unto you? The blind man said unto him, Adonai, that I might receive my sight. And Yahusha said unto him, Go your way, your belief has made you whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Yahusha in the way.